Mabuhay everyone, Marches here. Welcome to the channel. And for today's video, I'll be giving you my initial impression on the MB02. Let's go. So guys, long time no see. I know I've been out of the country for quite some time, so I haven't been making videos. But it's a little vacation and a little bit of work on my part but I'm so happy that I'm back and without further ado let's talk about the all new MB02 from Puma so this is actually the Metal Ball's second signature sneaker of course I have here the MB01 in this bright orange colorway but unfortunately it got sold out on the MB02 but luckily enough, I got to cop this away colorway, which is the blue and black of the Hornets. Of course, the colors of the Charlotte Hornets. And it comes with this very similar box to the MB01, but on the top part, it has the Lamello Ball logo here. Actually, it's upside down. Lamello Ball's logo, and of course, two here. and. On the first one, it also has a hole here, but it's actually like a UFO spaceship and it's see-through also in this box. So a very nice touch to the MB box and of course not from here on this side too. And the first one was actually a galaxy-like box and this one is just more of the Charlotte Hornets color, the teal green and blue and white of the Charlotte Hornets. So let's talk about the materials used on the MB02 because I think that's one of the main difference from the MB01. On the MB02, it has a full screen mesh upper from the forefoot to the heel and a lot of fusing. So you can see the shiny parts here on the lateral part of the sneaker that's fusing, which is of course Lamella Ball's tattoo. And you can see on the middle part, this blue area is also part of Lamello's tattoo and on the lateral part if you can see from here this is the Puma logo and this shiny part two part of that fusing but this one is made out of a harder plastic but still bends and conforms to your foot so I don't think that will be any problems actually you was wearing them here in the studio and I didn't have any problems and actually it kind of helps in the lateral containment of the sneaker and this is one of the major difference from the MB01 because on the MB01 it has this softer like double layered upper on the forefoot which has a screen mesh on top then below it is a more cushiony fabric that is really very comfortable around your skin and at the back part of the ones is textile mesh which is really soft too and it is very comfortable that's one thing that i really noticed from the two the twos are not that comfy compared to the ones but it does its job it gives a little bit more containment because of this fuse mesh upper the screen mesh doesn't move that much while on the ones it's a little bit more flimsy because it's made out of a softer material but with this one look at the structure of the sneaker it's more rigid but at the same time i think it's lighter although the comfort level is not that great as the ones but in terms of performance i think this will do the job well and it will make even the upper a little bit more better in terms of ventilation compared to the ones because the ones were kind of hot because it has thicker material so that's one advantage of the tools with this thinner material more fuse for additional support but we'll wait and see when i play with this when i break them in a little bit more hopefully the materials will become a little bit softer compared to right now and at the tip of the toe, you can see this fuse area for, of course, for durability to protect from toe shaving. Another main difference between the two is the thickness of the tongue because on the ones, the tongue is one of the comfiest tongue that I've ever used, very similar to the PG6, which has a very thick tongue. 
but this one is thinner on the twos but still padded but not as comfy as the metal ones the lacing system is kind of similar for both but as you can see here on the ones i wish that they retain this this trap here in the four foot part where i think it goes down to the footbed and gives you a better containment to the sneaker but i think they weird away from that because on the ones since the materials are more fused they didn't have to do that and the material will just really hug your foot a little bit better but i think those straps maybe they incorporate it inside so when you're pulling the strap it will kind of hug your foot more instead of just this outer layer of the material but just just me a little thing to consider but based on my first initial wear here the upper seems to give me a very nice containment especially on the lateral part of the sneaker both are mid-cut sneaker let's see the height on both they are very similar in terms of height so it's a mid high so it's not really low and as for extra ankle protection of course a mid-cut sneaker will give you that and of course heel cup heel containment the cushion on the twos like i said on the ones they're really really thick but this one is still very well padded still gives you a very nice heel containment but it's not as thick as the padding on the ones but i think this will be ample enough because there's no heel slippage here and there's an internal heel cup for this one and an extra external one with the mellow logo here and of course mellow and the puma logo at the heel part or the top part of the heel and the tongue the top of the tongue you can see mellow's logo here too which is similar to this one and as for the insole it's just an ordinary artolite insole nothing too fancy and uh, there's a strobo board below that now let's move on to the cushion part of the mellow tools which is another main difference between the ones where you can see the ones is really caged on the lateral part compared to the twos which is exposed here even on the lateral part so from this area so this part is the outsole but from there on you can see this is the cushion this is the nitro injected foam from puma and it's also exposed here on the heels so there's a lot of compression on this foam very similar to the ones but on the ones it's a little bit more cage on the lateral part but the nitro foam i think will be sturdy enough to give that stability on the heel part of the sneaker especially but we'll wait and see after i break them in if the nitro foam will really hold up or it will become a lot softer and will give instability to the mb02 I'll let you know in the performance review of the MB02. The cushion setup is not too thick. It's just the right amount. And for all of you who likes a little bit of court feel, there's enough impact protection and a slight bounce to it. And comparing it with the MB01, I think that the cushion of the MB01 is a little bit more plush compared to the twos, but I haven't broken this in yet, but we'll find out. But as of now, wearing them side to side currently with this brand new MB02 I felt like this broken in MB01's cushion is a lot plush there's a little bit more impact protection and it doesn't have that big of a bounce back compared to the twos but we'll wait and see on that department but in terms of thickness they're pretty much the same slab of cushion with the nitro injected foam on both but we'll wait and see which one is better after i played with the zero twos another main difference between the two and the ones is the outsole and the traction pattern so you can see the traction pattern is very similar to his tattoo the wings and on the ones you can see these are knobs and the ones when you play with them on a clean court were pretty good but on the dusty floors it doesn't hold up that well because it kind of attracts a lot of dust and I was uh, testing it out here in my floor side by side and I don't know if you can see it here in the camera that a lot of dust was stuck here on the ones but 
on the twos there's some dust but not as much as the ones and the threads of the twos are a little bit nicer they're very pliable so it moves they're very thin so i don't think out there use is recommended on the twos look how soft the the threads are on the twos so i think this will really hold up better indoors and i think this will be a little bit better on dusty floors based on the tread pattern but in terms of squeakiness because i have broken in the ones it's a little bit more squeaky right now compared to the twos but the two kind of bites better even though there's less squeak right now but maybe the squeak will eventually come out more when i play with this as for the weight of the twos it is 450 grams while on the ones it is 470 so there's 20 grams heavier on the ones because mainly they remove the lateral plastic on the twos and the materials are thinner on the twos compared to the ones that's why there's a 20 grams difference this is 20 grams lighter which i think is better so this will be not as heavy because this is 470 and you can feel a little bit of weight especially on the heel part because there's a lot of materials around the heel part of the ones it's thicker compared to the twos and like i said this plastic piece here on the heel on the latter part that runs to the heel so that gives a little bit more weight on the ones as for the price of the mb02 it is kind of expensive it is 8800 pesos so that's around 170 us dollars so pretty expensive here in the philippines i'm not too sure if it has the same price in the us because i remember on the ones that it's cheaper in the us but when they brought this here in the philippines it became around that price to 8500 i think and i don't know i'll check it out the price in the puma us store but here in the philippines if you're gonna cop this this is available over at titan22.com and puma.ph if you want to cop i think the blue one still has a couple of sizes left but on the orange pair uh there's a little some sizes left like really few sizes left so this has been marches once again let me know what you think about the mb02 will you be copying them do they look nice and of course the sizing i forgot to mention about the sizing the sizing is true to size and it's kind of narrow still similar to the mb ones, but the little difference is it's a little bit more snug especially on the forefoot part you can see the slope on the forefoot this is thinner and lower compared to the ones which has a little bit more room here in the forefoot part so watch out for that if you're a wide footer i think you need to go half size up and i don't think this will be wide footer friendly this is more towards the regular and narrow foot players who like to use this sneaker that's it on my initial impression on the mb02 let me know your thoughts this has been marches thank you for dropping by i'll catch you in the next one cheers